Hello everyone, this is the second lesson for week 7. Our lesson today, our topic, it is about gametes, 5.1 gametes. Firstly, your body is made of millions of cells. As we know, our bodies as a human, it's made up of millions of cells. But, uh, in fact, these millions of cells, they came uh, from one cell. Okay, so all of us, we began our life as a one cell. The single, the single, uh, this cell or the single cell uh, was made when two very special cells joined together. These special cells, we call them egg cell and sperm cell. All of us, our bodies are made up of millions of cells, but these cells, they came originally from one single cell okay this one single cell it formed by what it formed by another two special cells when two special cells join together they form this cell the two special cells are what egg cell and sperm cell now this egg cell and sperm cell cell uh, they have another name or we call them gametes egg cell and sperm cells are called gametes gametes are are cells that are adapted for reproduction this is an example of a uh, example of an egg cell okay this is an egg cell it consists of the these three this uh, parts it consists of nucleus cytoplasm and the cell cell the cell membrane and then we will later we will talk about uh, the egg cell we will talk uh, in more details then chromosomes chromosomes what do you mean by chromosomes explanation for it each one cell each one cell in our body it cons it contains chromosomes these chromosomes are found inside the nucleus. For example, now when we say this is a, an egg cell, here it's the nucleus, okay? Inside this nucleus, there will be what? There will be a chromosome or there will be chromosomes. If we want to give a definition for chromosome, we will say chromosomes are long thread-like structures. They are made up of genetic material. This genetic material, you can say genetic material, or you can say they are made up of DNA, which is uh, the genetic material for the cells. Then, in our bodies, we have two types of cells. All the cells in our bodies uh, are two types, okay? We call them, we have one kind of cells uh, that it have uh, 46 chromosomes, okay? But only the gametes, okay, the egg cell and sperm cell, only these two cells, only these gametes, instead of 46 chromosomes, they have only 23 chromosomes, okay? Gametes have only 23 chromosomes. Why it's only, why the gametes have 23 chromosomes? We will, dis we will discuss it later. Then, now the egg cell and sperm cell the egg cell egg cell are the female gamete okay now some features about this uh, cell firstly it is bigger the size of it it's bigger than most of the other cells okay uh, they are about the size of a full stop at the end of the of this sentence the size of it it's about like this full stop, like this dot, okay? The black one, not the yellow one. Then, egg cells needs to be quite larger. It's like maybe you'll have a question that says, why the egg cell, it should be large? The egg cell, the answer, the egg cell, it should be large. Why? So it can make space for food storage in their cytoplasm. Here, if you will look the cytoplasm see the cytoplasm here it is a large why it's large 
so it will be able to store uh, more amount of food why why it will needs to store food because then this food will be used by the embryo then next one sperm cell sperm cell it's what it's the male gamete now we have egg it's for female sperm it's for male egg it's bigger than the other cells that's mean also it's bigger than uh, sperm now if you will compare between egg and sperm okay which one if you will compare the size of them you will say that egg cell it's bigger than sperm cell okay they are smaller than most other other cells then they have only tiny amount of cytoplasm here in egg cell we say it has a large amount of cytoplasm but here it have only tiny amount of cytoplasm one more thing which is the sperm cell it has a long tail this one it's a tail okay what is the function or what's the benefit of uh, the tail the benefits of tail it helps the sperm cell to swim okay they have a long tail so they can swim here we have uh, the egg cell and sperm cell under microscope okay see the difference between them here it's uh, larger than uh, larger larger than uh, sperm and uh, the cytoplasm of it it's bigger here the cytoplasm of it it's smaller this is the cyto see this is the cytoplasm the uh, blue color this the blue part it's the uh, cytoplasm and one more thing here there is this part which it's the tail in the egg cell there is no tail now questions list three ways in which an egg cell differs from the other cells in the human body okay three uh, ways firstly we say the size of it it's 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 larger than most of the other cells it has a large cytoplasm okay and the last thing it's what it has only 23 chromosomes the other cells they have 46 chromosomes Question number two, list three ways in which a sperm cell differs from other cells in the human body. Again, here you will say the size, the size of sperm cell, it's smaller than most of the other cells. Number two, it can swim, it can move. Why? Because it has tail, because it has tail, so it is able to move or to swim. Number three, also, it has 23 chromosomes, uh, and the other cells in, in the other cells uh, they have 46 chromosomes. Then, fertilization. Fertilization it's a process. When we say it, your body is made up of cells, made up of millions of cells, and these cells they came from one cell. Okay, well, what do we mean by this? It's fertilization. Fertilization. It's, look at this drawing, this diagram. What is happening? This one is egg. And these are the sperms. Okay? Now, what is happening? These sperms, they are trying to join the egg. Trying to uh, penetrate or to pass through the cell membrane to reach the nucleus. Then, only one of these sperms will be able, will success to pass through the cell membrane and reach the nucleus. Now, see here what happened. Nucleus of the sperm cell and the nucleus of the egg cell fuse together. This is what do you mean by fertilization. Okay, for the definition for fertilization, you will say, when the nucleus of sperm and the nucleus of uh, egg cell join together. This is called fertilization. When these two 
uh, after fertilization when the sperm cell uh, when the nucleus of sperm cell it fuses with the nucleus of uh, egg cell now instead of saying egg cell we will say it is a zygote we will call it zygote so the new cell is produced is called a zygote then how many chromosomes will there be in a human zygote at the beginning of lesson when i was talking about the number of chromosomes in uh, egg cell and sperm cell i said each cell it has only 23 and the other body cells they have 46 the reason behind that it's what here in fertilization now the egg cell it has 23 and when the sperm cell will pass through it will penetrate it now they will fuse they will join with each other now uh, sperm cell also it has 23 now what we will have we will have 23 chromosomes from sperm cell plus 23 chromosomes from the egg cell now 23 plus 23 the total will be 46 and then the zygote now it has uh, 20 it has sorry 46 chromosomes now how many chromosomes will there be in human zygote the answer it is 46 chromosomes question number four explain why it's important that an egg cell and sperm cell have only half of the normal number of chromosomes explain why in the zygote it should have only why why the egg cell it should have only uh, 23 chromosomes and the sperm cell also it should have 23 chromosomes the answer will be when the egg cell and sperm cell join together the zygote ends up with the normal number of chromosomes which is uh, 46 chromosomes so dear students that was everything for this lesson i hope you got benefit from it uh, please when you will finish watching the video write comment below the video that you received the video you watched the video and everything it was clear if you still have any questions any concerns about the topic please write a comment or text me thank you and have a good day